What's up everybody? This is Parker from the Fast Foodies and today I'm going to be reviewing some noodles and company for you guys. Why noodles and company? Well, in the last few days I reviewed Taco Bell, Sonic, and Cold Stone Creamery ice cream. Definitely not the healthiest. So I wanted, I wanted to change it up a bit, get a little bit more health in me. And to be honest, I think I think Noodles & Company is pretty healthy. Comment down below what you think is the healthiest fast food chain out there. And on top of that, besides being healthy, Noodles & Company also just came out with some new fast food items. And on the fast foodies, we're all about trying the latest and greatest fast food items, snacks, cereals, really uh, anything and everything related to food. So if you wanna be kept up to date on the newest and latest fast food items, food items in general, then all you have to do is join the fast foodies by hitting that little subscribe button down there. But what are these new items from Noodles & Company? Well, let me tell you. Grilled chicken zucchini and cauliflower rigatoni rosa. So yeah, as I was saying, both of these options sound pretty healthy. I mean, you have grilled chicken in here with the zucchini, all very healthy. And in here you have, uh, what is it? What was it? Uh, cauliflower rigatoni rosa. I have my little cheat sheet down here in case I forget what's in here. But yeah, rosa, I don't really know what rigatoni rosa is. I assume it's some type of pasta. Pasta's not the healthiest, but you know, it's not too bad. And then of course I did get Parmesan crusted chicken. Why? Um, well, no other reason, just because it was recommended on the app. <laughs> so yeah, I decided to put some Parmesan crusted chicken on here. And plus you get some added protein. I think first up, I'm gonna start off with the grilled chicken zucchini bowl. I got my tasting fork. Let's see how this tastes. Now I have to say that zucchini doesn't look too appetizing. It kind of looks like noodles. That reminds me. Does anyone know what the and co stands for in Noodles & Company? Obviously the noodles stand for the noodles that they serve, but what's the co stand for? Is it like you're supposed to go there with company or is it all the other items they sell? I don't know, let me know in the comments down below if you know what the co stands for. I forgot to mention, I think this is also an orange chicken um, zucchini bowl. When I was eating it, I could taste that orange flavor, orange chicken flavor coming through. It's definitely not as strong as what you get from Panda Express. But it's definitely still there. My dad's probably thinking to himself, Parker, get your napkins. <laughs> Sorry, dad. <laughs> no, but back to this uh, orange chicken zucchini bowl. The chicken, the chicken is my favorite part to be honest. It seasons pretty nicely. Oh, the chicken and the sauce. It's seasoned well, it's cooked pretty well. The sauce adds a nice orange flavor to it. It's not overly heavy, I'd say, like as I was saying, Panda Express. I find sometimes in Panda Express, it almost seems like you're eating more of the sauce than the actual chicken. Here, you're actually getting some of that chicken flavor. The zucchini though, uh, I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of the texture. It's a little like almost soggy. Uh, for ratings, I'm gonna give this, uh, I'll give this a 7.5 out of 10. Now let's try some cauliflower rigatoni rosa. As I said in the intro, I really don't know what rigatoni rosa is. Obviously, I know what cauliflower is, primarily because uh, <laughs> cauliflower is probably my dad's least favorite foods back when I lived at home. If there was cauliflower within like a 20 yard radius of him, he would, uh, yeah, he would not be very happy. Parker, where's that cauliflower coming from? <laughs> cauliflower is actually the one, like a few of the vegetables, what am I saying? I actually enjoy cauliflower. I don't know why my dad doesn't enjoy it too much. We'll see uh, how strong the cauliflower flavor is in here. There we go. Dad, it is safe to say, I think you'll probably enjoy this. I'm really not getting any cauliflower. I'm not really sure even where it's supposed to be, to be honest. If it's supposed to be in the sauce, it's not sprinkled on here. Um, yeah, I don't know. 
But the sauce, speaking of which, is actually a little, a little spicy, dare I say. It has a little heat to it, a little kick to it. I enjoy it, not overly spicy by any means, but just enough to, you know, make sure you know that it's there. And I can see why they recommended the, the Parmesan crusty chicken. It's good. It has a nice crunch to it, nice cheesy Parmesan-y flavor to it. I enjoy it. And last but not least, there are some tomatoes in here. Um, I'm not the biggest tomato sauce fan, so I'm kind of happy that they're not too many. But no, overall, oh, and you get some mushrooms in here. Who doesn't like mushrooms? Mm, my sister. <laughs> For ratings, I'm gonna uh, give this an 8.5 out of 10, actually. I was gonna give it an 8, but that, uh, <laughs> it'd probably be an 8 out of 10 without the Parmesan crusted chicken, but that, that, that crust on there, that's, uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> There you guys go. Hope you enjoyed this review of these two healthier fast food items out there, fast food options out there. Yeah, I'd recommend picking this up. Definitely recommend going for the rigatoni bowl over the grilled chicken zucchini. However, the rigatoni is probably a little bit less healthier than the grilled chicken zucchini. But if you guys have tried out any of these new options from Noodles and Company, let me know in the comments down below which one you enjoyed better. And until next time, I'll see you in the next review. Bonus footage, because I'm a fast foodie and I have a sweet tooth, I did have to pick up a chocolate chunk cookie. That probably ruins all the health I just had from uh, <laughs> from those two healthy, healthier options. But quick little review. Ooh, it is soft. Some melted chocolate chips. Mmm. That's good. Yeah. You guys have a few extra calories to spare? Or probably quite a few extra calories to spare. I recommend picking this one up. If you made it to the end of this video, then I'm sure that you want to become a fast foodie as well. So all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. And to see exclusive behind the scenes footage, then you can head on over to Instagram and follow the Fast Foodies at Fast Foodies Review.